Hello, I'm James Dilly, and I'm here at Le Hug B in front of the stunning Neolithic longhouse to talk to you a little bit about the materials in the Neolithic. The objects I have here are made of a whole variety of different materials. You can see I've got a wooden bench here from trees and an animal skin here as well. They're fairly obvious how people could have used them for clothes, keeping them warm, making bags, benches out of the wood, you name it. But there are some objects here that are made of materials and used in a way that might seem less obvious and they're worth talking about. In the Stone Age, they obviously used stone to make tools, but in Jersey, there were a whole variety of different materials used to make stone tools from. Flint is one of the most widely known and used across Europe, but in Jersey, a good sized piece of flint would look something like this, a bit too small to make an axe head out of. So for people in the Neolithic here on Jersey, rather than making flint, axes, they used local dolerite to make their axes from, which is a tough volcanic stone. An exotic material that would have travelled some way to be here on Jersey for axes was jadeite, and this came all the way from the Italian Alps, but it's unlikely that these axes were ever used for cutting down trees, probably just a symbol of power. As well as hard stone, people used soft clay to form pots that they could fire to make cooking vessels or even storage pots for grain. But you don't just have to make pots from clay. You can make them from birch bark, a bit like Ertzi the Iceman's, or a whole variety of other materials. You can weave baskets from grass. As well as stone tools, you can make tools from wood, like hammers, to help you build structures like the one behind me, which is made of a lot of wood. Or you can use antler and bone to make harpoons and needles to sew your clothes together. There are a whole variety of materials here in the Stone Age, and it's called the Stone Age because it's usually only stone tools that survive. But you can see here in front of me, and certainly behind me, there are so many materials that were used in prehistory that sadly rot away over thousands of years. Us experimental archaeologists have to reconstruct that picture that has been lost over many thousands of years.